Hi there and welcome back to Death Knights of Crin. I am Byron and we are just below the dwarven village of Turev. Do we enter? Yes we do. You enter the hill dwarf village of Turev. Hill dwarfs circle a, a lone mountain dwarf seated on a wild boar. Scumps the name. I come in peace, he says. But they knock him to the ground. What do you do? Hmm, we help Scump. The hill dwarfs curse you and attack. And Scump joins us. Alrighty, what do we have here? Crazed dwarfs. Okay. They don't have too many hit points and a very high armor class. I don't really know what they're doing here. You yell. Slay them. Okay, who are you, Scump? You are a chaotic good dwarven fighter, level 12, not too shabby. Quite strong, quite dexterous. Constitution is, well, not so very good for a fighter. Charisma, hmm. You have an armor class of minus 2, a damage 1d8 plus 5, and attack of 5. What do you have? Plate mail plus 2 and a battle axe. That's not too spectacular. Oh uh, no, sorry. You move. No, that's actually wrong. You just stay here and boom. It looks like he's punching, but he's actually using um, his axe. Ooh, one damage. What you gonna do? Next would be, um, you. Good night. Twenty one. Holy moly. Oh, missed. Really? So, well, those dwarves are not much of a challenge. Well, I say you stay here and boom. Another one bites the dust. Oh, wait, we already attacked you. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, 
No, you flee in panic. Hmm. You're not going to get him. You're way too low, uh, slow actually. Let's see. Well, well, well. No, you will not attack, you will move on. Hey, you can actually... melee him. That's nice. Good night. No, we're not letting you get away. The party has won. Each character receives 1200 experience points, but no treasure. Scomp greets you and tells you of his attempts to unite all dwarves. This is recorded as journal entry 6. Alrighty. Journal entry 6. Mountain Dwarf. The name's Scomp. I come from beneath the Dargard Mountains. There, while exploring a new passage, I came upon an echo chamber, one of those unusual caverns that somehow amplify sound. I heard voices, voices coming from above, from the surface. Names were mentioned. Lord Zoth, Sir Carl, Sebas, Estmore. There was talk of a dragon lands and something called a rod of om omnis rod of omniscience. Okay. Conquest, that was the topic. World conquest. When I brought this matter before my superiors, they shrugged. The fate of the surface worlds does not concern them. I went to their superiors with the same result. How short-sighted they are, for if the surface world falls, would we not be next? Go to journal entry 20. Why couldn't you write that on in one journal entry? Okay, we will have to remember that rod of omniscience. Um, rod of omniscience. Hmm. All right, probably that's important. Um, General Entry 20. Oh yeah, Mountain Dwarf continued. So that's why I'm here, traveling village to village, warning the hill and gully dwarves of the impending danger and the need to unite against this common enemy. I have been to two village villages before this, where the hill dwarves at least listened to me. I can't expect a warm reception from any of them, you know, because of the bad blood between our kinds. But here, this village, these hill dwarves, there's an intense hatred I don't understand. I'll give up on this village, but before leaving, I must find my mount. You saw that fine wild boar I was knocked from by the hill dwarves? He carried me many a stretch of wilderness and seen me through countless tight spots. Without his speed beneath me, my warnings will reach the villages too late. If you could spare the time, I could use the help finding him. He is in the village somewhere. Okay, we have to find a wild boar. These hill dwarves have brainwashed. No, these hill dwarves seem brainwashed. I'd best pass them by. But first, I must find my wild boar. Without him, I'll be ages reaching all the clans. Will you help me? Sure. Okay. So we encamp and uh, fix. And probably alter the party order. You go up here. So that worked nicely. Um, let's take a look at the area. Okay, we are here. So we go in here. You enter a trash study. A scholar cleans up with deep sighs. You pick up a book for him. Good people, but you have come too late. 
This is recorded as journal entry 42. Okay. Scholar. These villainous brutes, they ransacked my study and took what military texts they could find. The proper care and feeding of a military campaign. The art of murder and mayhem. Advanced taunts and tortures. 101 intimidation techniques. They took them all. I tried to stop them, but what can an old scholar do? You didn't read your own books? I was never a man of the sword. They just laughed and beat me senseless with a book titled Brain Traumas in the Severely Pummeled. <laughs> to give me an idea how twisted their minds are. The situation is even worse than I've described it, for there is one other text in Notebook, really, whose contents dare not fall into the minds of those rave evil rascals. Ambush made easy, that's what it's called. A trivial thing, it may seem. The text barely runs 20 pages. But, oh, the secrets it reveals about the most fundamental of strategies. The ambush. Yes, yes, they took it. I tell you, you must recover it, otherwise we are in for a long and difficult campaign whose end cannot be to our favor. Alright, we will get your book back. They took Ambush Made Easy. It gives them a decided advantage. You must recover it. With a grumble, he resumes cleaning. You leave. Okay. So let's head to the south. Um, yep. The sign above reads Locksmith from. So we go in here. A woman sobs. Spare my son. He is possessed. As are so many. He wears a purple hat. Show mercy if you find him. You leave. Okay, we're looking for a dwarf with a purple hat. Hat, not head. Fluffy's Tavern. Uh, let's look for a dwarf with a hat. Patrol spots you. Oh, really? Mm hmm. How about we turn you? Very ghastly. Oh, okay, that's it. Boom, you're not casting. You're not casting. Oh, heh, my mistake. You should get your melee weapons back. You're dead. Oh, really? Well, then go there. Yeah, well, AC2 is um, too low. You could yell, that's always fun. You don't do anything. Boom. Good night. Ooh, from behind. Ooh, 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 ooh. And fuck. Oh, missed. Good night. Well, that's easy. 2177 experience points and treasure. What do we get? Is there anything magical here? Yeah, maces and long swords, okay. Fine, we take them. No, I don't want it. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, so we are here. Uh, 
Um, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, of course. Here's the door. Soldiers teach dwarves combat skills. A young dwarf with a purple hat spots you at charge. So what do you do? Well, he wears a purple hat. We don't kill him. We just wrestle with him. You wrestle him to the ground and knock him unconscious. Oh, I should have fixed him. Probably not important. And we gain experience. The others spot you and attack. What do we have? Oh, there are a few patriarchs here. You stay here. And to guard. You cast a delayed blast firewall. Because why not? Cast it in here. Oh, that patriarch isn't dead yet. Well then, you cast another one. The rest should be easy. So you move like here and guard. You move in here and boom. You yell. Good night. Well, who's here? Nobody really. Hey, he's trying to get away. He has nine hit points. It's not too much. Oh, it's too far away actually. Fine. You're dead. And we have won again and found treasure. Let's detect. Oh, overloaded.
No, I don't want to go back. The young dwarf wakes up. Thank you for knocking sense into me. You're asking about the soldiers. Strange, I saw one hide a book in a shield. So you have something to read when you're waiting uh, for battle to happen. So we fix. And try to get our magic. No, thank you. Exit. Magic. Memorize. Keep. So yeah, so they, they have something to read when they're waiting for battle to happen. I always had something to read when I was in the army. Because, well, as a soldier, oh, a patrol spots you. You wait a lot. Um, oh, there's a mage. Well, probably out too, for the sake of um, symmetry. I don't think you need to do anything to delay. Well, hmm, doesn't make much of a difference. Let's manual. Ah, uh, you you better go and say hi to that um, mage. Yeah, I like you care about that. You yell. Good night. Can you hit him? No. Well then, don't do anything. Missed. Well, hit him. I'm sorry, it was the wrong button. No, don't do it. Just move. Exactly. And you're dead too. Missed, really. Well, and another one bites the dust. Can't really help it. This is easy. Oh, missed, really. The worries are going down quite quickly.
Oh boy, you're in for a world of hurt. Huh? And another one. 3600 and... Um, whatever. What do we get? Oh, darts. That's nice, you take them. Well, you could detect. Bracers, quarter staff, bracers. Mm -hmm. Very nice. No, I don't want the rest. Thank you. We encamp and fix. And move out. So let's take a look at the area. Now that we have saved that little uh, dwarf with the red hat or purple hat or whatever, we will return to his mama. Yeah, we will enter the tavern later. Don't worry. Where are we now? I think this is where his mama lived. How can we ever repay you? She digs around. Take my late husband's cloak. He was a fierce fighter. And we get 100 experience points. What do we get? A cloak. Well, you take it. So, you have an AC of minus 6. If you would ready that, you would have an AC of minus 8. It's a cloak of displacement, apparently. That's awesome. That's something Randy Spears needs. So you trade that to Sylvia Saint because he has, you know, quite a high armor class for our frontline fighters. So you trade that with him. Minus five now. Mm, I like that much better. And I think we will actually take a break here and continue the next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.